Good morning and welcome to the Z. Today I show you the most important items or the items I consider as the best to survive in the early game, in the mid game and the late game. So first of all we start with a beautiful morning in scenarios and we are here localized in Chernogorsk. And of course the first items you want to get are some food uh, which you get from the trees and from the local loot. Remember you need to roam on the trees to activate the fruit to spawn. And you want to get yourself warm. This means um, you probably want to spawn yourself on a bigger city where there is firefighter gear in the firefighter station and also medical supply. So we start off with the first item, what is uh, important is a knife. Uh, my favorite knife is the Kurki because its durability is really high and it also looks pretty cool. So we take this uh, Kurki as the first item that you maybe get as a knife in order to craft drags and for later it's uh, also important to always uh, have the ability to craft racks and open uh, food cans. So the first utility item is a knife. The second utility item is an axe, prefer preferable a firefighter axe because a firefighter axe uh, has a low carrier capacity, uh, means it not has a a lot of white the capacity is pretty high but uh, it not has a lot of white so uh, this is my favorite axe you can get it from the firefighter station you can craft racks with it you also can cut bushes with it when you cut larger bushes with it you can actually uh, get uh, wooden sticks and with wooden sticks you can craft uh, three wooden sticks and three uh, racks um, can cra you can craft with uh, a splint <laughs> that's the next item uh, so a firefighter axe would be then the <laughs> next item and with this item you can actually craft uh, this uh, splint oh I still have I'm sorry really sorry so apply this a splint so uh, a splint is an item you need then later I explain it so when you have a knife to cut racks and an axe you actually need uh, warm gear and for me the favorite gear is because it's endgame gear that is early accessible the firefighter jacket and the firefighter pants. You can find those in larger cities on the firefighter stations. So get those eggs and the jacket and the pants from the firefighter station and then you are already kept warm for uh, the highest uh, insulation. It says the best insulation. So you will get no better insulation and it also has a high capacity of carrying items. So you have your knife, you have an axe, and you have your warm gear, a firefighter gear. Now it's about the mid-game survivability uh, items and for that of course you need a backpack to collect more items. I su suggest the mountain backpack, it has the second highest carrier ability so it's really really good and you can uh, s uh, repair it with the normal steering kit and with the duct tape note that uh, dry bags you only can repair with the duct tape so the mountain backpack is much more uh, useful because you can repair them with multiple items and it looks so cool <laughs> it looks just good so now um, that you have some capacity, you have the knife, you have the axe, you have some warm gear, you have a backpack. 
then you can craft with the axe the splint. The splint you can craft by going to larger bushes and cut them with your axe. Then you get three wooden locks or a larger wooden lock which you can split with the axe. And with three racks, the racks you can get by cutting racks with your knife from clothes, you can craft this. This is a very important item for survival. You need it in the mid and in the late game. When you accidentally fall from a cliff in the night, when you have maybe no night vision, then you get broken bones. So also when you are in a fight, you get broken bones. You can't cure broken bones without a splint. That's why this is a very important item. You can craft it with three racks and three uh, wooden sticks. A splint. <laughs> so this is uh, necessary to survive the mid and the late late game. What also is necessary for the mid game, which you should care to get from the medical stations and the larger cities, is actually an iodine tincture or an alcoholic tincture. You find those not just in the medicals, also in the villages. The thing is, you won't survive the mid game without those items because when the zombies attack you have a low chance to get uh, dirty wounds and you only can purify those with iodine tincture or alcoholic tincture so you need to loot the s all of those villages until you find those items without those items you won't survive much long oh, we put this in here <laughs> put this in here all right so when you have a spline and the uh, iodine tincture or the alcoholic tincture you're warm and you have an axe uh, and you have a knife then you are already ready for the mid game so you can leave the, the cities of course not without terra clean pills terra clean pills cure let me eat an apple <laughs> yes i need to eat something I'm really starving right now so terra clean pills you get from the medical centers you need them to cure literally any diseases and you need to collect uh, at least three of them to cure a heavy disease. This means when you are heavily uh, sick, then you can take three of those pills and it will cure any disease. So count them in three stacks. Uh, six, twelve means a whole stack can cure four heavy diseases. Uh, in the last stages I note here so you only need three pills when they are in the last stages so now you're prepared for the mid game the early game includes to get an axe get yourself warm get the terra clean pills and get the tincturis get a splint or other ways <laughs> your survivability in the mid and the late game is really low now now to the utility and the late game items or let's say utility and mid game items what's also really important is the best item in player versus player is the lock pit <laughs> seriously guys this is some of the most underrated item in the z the lock pit so whenever you get chase it and of course the Epinetrina auto injectors. So we put those here. Uh, get those two items. Put them on the seven and on the three. Or, yeah, no, the four. So whenever you get chased by other players, you get chased by other players, players follow you, 
you always have the option to use the lock pit, lock the door, press escape and lock out. Then you lock in again maybe two hours later and the players are gone and you are avoided a confrontation. It's all about avoiding confrontations when you really want to survive the whole season without dying. So lockpit is a really important item. The second item is when you not have a lockpit, you might need the epinephrine auto injectors. I su su suggest you uh, actually get three of them to outrun enemy squads. This means when a squad chases you through the woods, you can inject it and outrun the players when you have two or three of them in your inventory. Put them on the utility slot on the seven. Uh, okay, <laughs> now it's about the cooking pot. The most uh, useful item in the uh, food and water supply is the cooking pot because you can fill it with water and it has a high capacity of water. Uh, you only fill it with water from sources that are clean, so only city or village water supplies. No water from pounds, no water from the rivers, just from the local water supply. A water supply like uh, down there is a water supply, there, those, those things. Yeah, <laughs> so you get those. In order to uh, actually store water. Very important item. And in the mid game, of course, uh, the Tina back when you get attacked by wolves or something. Um, and your blood is really low, you maybe want to collect those. It's not necessary for survival, but it's an utility item you maybe not want to miss. You graph this with a VE set and a Saltine back. Of course, the also utility and repair items are items that are necessary for maintaining your stuff. So a leather serving kit, and the serving kit is really important, also duct tape is really helpful. Then uh, for the player versus player content, I suggest to not just use racks, collect as much bandages as you have, because when you get hurt in the combat, bandages will heal you faster than racks. So use racks when you're out of combat to heal yourself from wounds. Use bandages in player versus player when you're combat to heal you faster from wounds. Put them on the utility slot three. Then of course the uh, we passed now the mid game. You have your axe, you have your knife, you have warm clothes. Now it's about the mid game and the mid game item is the plate carrier quest. It will save you from assassins like snipers or something and of course the Azure helmet you get those on military side as I would recommend the western military camp where actually a lot of zombies spawn and you have a high chance to get the plate carrier quest spawn it on a zombie then attack the zombie on the head, not on the plate carrier uh, area, to not ruin it. And then you have a plate carrier west, which protects you then from at least a uh, uh, small size compact, uh, but no heavier suit. So you die in a heavier suit pretty fast, that means a better survivor is a runner than a fighter, in my opinion, because when you fight against squads, it's better to outrun them or to lock yourself in than to actually fight. <coughs> I think so. Uh, that's how I survived the seasons, if you want to survive the season. Um, then, uh, yes, so the mid game is about the plate carrier west. 
and I also would have it. Of course the mid game is also about getting high durability boots. So in the early game you collect um, in the early game you want to collect multiple boots in your backpack to not spare those uh, leather serving kits on boots. You collect multiple boots until you got high durability boots. Those Azul boots got a durability rating of 180 which is the highest so you can collect them and of course uh, you not need to repair them much because of their high uh, durability. So also mid game items. So it's all about the mid game now. Of course yeah, also the mid game includes NVG head straps and the night vision optics you get from militaries. <coughs> Also the mid game includes to maybe collect the firefighter pants and the firefighter jacket and then you camp uh, for some days on the medical center, you roam on the medical center in order to get those um, uh, NBC uh, gear and with the NBC gear you can initialize the mid game with farming a late game weapon so you skip the late game phase and include it into your mid game in order to get these <laughs> flowers as there's no other weapon you need this is the only weapon with its other version that has a included silencer that actually is silenced all other silencer will address zombie in the small range so this is the only silencer that is quite <laughs> and it is also sort of a sniper and it is also sort of an azul driven <laughs> and it has armor penetration rounds so this is the only weapon you really really need of course the shotgun in the early game will do it also but of course the in the mid game you want to reach the mid game as fast as possible to get an advantage to get this weapon then uh, yeah you will reach the mid game and you pass the mid game get the end game weapon in the mid game earlier and then it's about the late game all of optimization is to get uh, those end game gear and optimize your inventory so how to optimize your inventory is actually uh, you get some best insulation clovers by roaming through the the end game is to find it myself by returning to the largest cities and roaming to in order to optimize your gear this means most players meet in the military base fight and then die this is not end game for me. End game is for me to survive the game and use the advantages you have. So you have a better weapon. You are armored. Uh, then of course Leah would return to the larger cities in order to farm to use your advantage, your survivability, not to kill pay players only when it's necessary. Uh, you also can have the opportunity if you have batteries to only hunt in the night for loot uh, but I hunt in the day so <laughs> yeah uh, and then you can optimize your uh, year with endgame stuff like wool glovers, best insulation you find those in the series maybe you'll find them in the early game I found those in the late game so you maybe want to optimize your gear also of course with beds maybe but i keep everything low so i collected here the most important items in my inventory uh, so you put maybe the zatine bag in here and maybe also the knife in here because it's all about speed and when you have the most important items in your 
but it helps you a lot of with speeding. Then of course the uh, late game item is the hockey mask. It's rare, you not find it pretty fast. Maybe you find it also in the mid or the early game. The hockey mask is good because it will protect you from melee attacks. I would recommend to wear the hockey mask. You can also wear the NBC mask, but it will not protect you from melee attacks as the hockey mask. So that's it. <laughs> that's uh, my most important items to survive uh, in DayZ. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wonder why it looked so strange though, so because I had it like this. Um, now I finished my video and I probably want to eat something. So I collected only Coca-Cola and spaghetti for this video. <laughs> so gonna eat something. Alright you guys, so thanks for watching and those are my most important, most necessary items for DayZ. I hope you liked this video and hope it how, uh, how I explained it the uh, early, mid and the end game phase. And those are pretty cool items. Uh, when you... <coughs> when you are maybe on a private server and you want those items exactly in this order collected to your fresh spawnies then I maybe do a new video how to script your files to get those items in one row for sp fresh spawnies but I don't know if I do this uh, new video um, but uh, this is how I did this video with all those cool items to show you the other items that are my favorite items uh, I maybe do a scripting video later. So, yeah. Thanks for watching and have fun playing this. <laughs>